Hey, family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, I hate when I say good morning because morning is nothing good. So let me just state it again and let me say grand rising, family. Grand rising. Um, I want to speak life. Life into a situation, not death. Okay, so I I um choose to uh I choose to say grand rising and hopefully that is what we had today. Those of us who woke up on this side of the dirt, the 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 rising is grand. But let me um talk about something you don't hear me talk about a lot, but I think it's really important now that, I, uh, that I'm going to talk about it because it's uh, something that has affected me personally. Okay? And that is toxic friends. What happens when you have toxic friends, narcissistic friends, and because of your uh, predisposition for abuse or to be set up in these kind of a relationship, you've made excuses and um, uh, uh, allowed a lot of the shit to, to go on that really shouldn't have went on and that shouldn't go on. So let me give you an example, okay? Uh, I had a particular friend who was real, real easy and made it uh, their business to point out everybody's shortcomings, okay? Like, in other words, if uh, um, maybe you had a family member that might not have, um, eh, was off on the left foot, never criminally um, involved in anything, but maybe, eh, some things that might that family member might have done might have been questionable, right? And then here's your friend who's so toxic that uh, they put themselves up on a perch or a pedestal uh, as if um, they're in a position to judge somebody, right? So with this particular situation, uh, this friend. One of my family members got caught up into something that wasn't too cool. Okay. And um, they knew about it. And so instead of them, you know, being sympathetic to the situation, especially, um, you know, uh, especially since their background of abuse and, uh, um, you know, toxicity was just at an all times high, it would seem as if, um, I'm not saying they should have had compassion, but I don't think that they should have been around uh, spreading uh, the different different um, narratives about my brother that um, just really didn't serve a purpose, right? So I was a little offended by it, however, I didn't say anything. I didn't, uh, I allowed it to happen. So I'm sitting up here looking at this person that's placing judgment on my particular family member, right? Um, and so what happened was uh, they would uh, ask other people that they would encounter that knew my family member. Yeah, did you hear about they did X, Y, Z? Yeah, did you hear about they did X, Y, Z? Hmm. And um, which I thought was very, very messed up because this wasn't a situation that warranted any charges or this wasn't a situation. This wasn't a situation where you would have thought uh, that this person would have took that, you know, that that mindset. But because they did, you know. My grandma used to always say, be mindful and careful how you treat people, right? And how you sit up on a hill in a glass house 
So what what ended up happening? I had to end up stepping back from this toxic friend because as much as they had the nerve to talk and spread disinformation about my family member, well, it really came to pass that their family member was actually, actually a criminal and was actually doing the things that they, in fact, um, uh, 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 you know, told people that my family member was guilty of. Well, again, that same individual ended up with um, a situation that it was very toxic because their family member was not only convicted, they were um, accused and convicted of a hideous crime. So now I don't see them running around telling everybody or having a lot to say about um, what their family member did. In fact, they're trying to keep it, they keep it on the low low. But that's not the compassion and that's not how they felt when it happened to be somebody else's family member. So as I begin to sit back and observe things like this, I start saying, you know what, this is an embarrassment. When you start talking about who's embarrassing who, this is what's embarrassing. And so unless you're willing to walk in a truth, which is hard to do, but if you're not willing to eat your own garbage, instead of walking around talking about other people, thinking that your sins will never find you out, then I'm, I'm going to have to put you on the toxic list. And that is what happens um, when you have toxic friends that, and this is just one example. I mean, I've got mi millions, like, uh, being my friend and then bad mouthing me behind my back. What kind of friend does stuff like that? A friend that's toxic. Um, a friend that thinks that you have been put up on a pedestal or that you may be getting uh, attention that they wish they could have. Um, so what they do is they try to sabotage your situation and they try to dim your light. And I'm here to tell y'all, you need to watch out for friends like that. You need to watch out for people like that. Those are toxic friends. And in fact, um, they they can be very, very, very dangerous. And so once you realize that you're dealing with a toxic person like that, and that's willing to count up all your flaws or try to uh, maximize and be very, very, very strenuous on situations that don't have anything to do with them. Yet and still, when it really happens to them and their family member, they want to remain quiet or remain silent, then those are the times when you will sit back and observe. And it's like, is this person a, a quality person? Is this person, uh, or is this person really just uh, a, a egomaniac? So I don't know how many of y'all have experienced something like that, but I thought it's very important, especially speaking with you, Dar with, with uh, Darlisha. And thinking about things like that allows me to let people know that you, if you're involving yourself with friends like that, or if you have been involved with friends like that, kind of put a distance between you and them. Put a distance between them and you. And don't be fooled by the rhetoric. Okay? Because that's what you call a toxic friend. All right.